Hi guys, I'm back and I'm happy that you are back here as well with me and my nail fantasy. Let's have fun with our nails. And today we're gonna have fun with my latest Moyu London haul. There was a Boxing Day sale going on after Christmas. They gave you 20% discount on the whole website. So of course I had to grab some plates that had been on my wish list for a while. And I had Mix and Match, Mandala, Minimal, Henna, Scandi, Hipster and Festive. So they are quite quite new plates and some older plates. I'm gonna swatch them all for you, but I will do this in different videos. So today we're gonna look at these two in detail, the mix and match and the mandala. Of course, I have already removed the protective foil for those of you that are new to nail stamping. When you get your stamping plates, usually they have either a clear or a blue foil to protect from scratches. You have to remove that before you can use the plate. We start with the mix and match number 04. These plates I'm showing you today are a little different than the regular Moyu London stamping plates. Usually you have 12 full nail images like these here. These are the XL plates. So mix and match means you have some backgrounds here, which is quite nice. And you have some little cute images to put on top of those backgrounds. They remind me of Florida, of course, with all the palm trees <laughs> and Art Deco style a little. I'm gonna swatch those for you and I will stamp the backgrounds in black and in neon and I will add those little images here. I will do a reverse. I will stamp then the images in black and the images in neon. You know what I mean. So wait until you see the swatches. <laughs> The second plate I'm gonna show you today is the mandala number 14. Also this one is different. You have here 18 designs. They remind me of yeah, chains hanging from your nails. Sweet little delicate images, very pretty. Here we have these half moon images. This is a typical mandala image. And down here, look, they look like little chandeliers actually. <laughs> also very pretty. I have seen swatches for this plate and same style plates on the Moyo London side, mostly with matte backgrounds. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I will show you what polishes I used. I have the fishnet stockings and the kimono over from Essie, a gorgeous purple and a really dark red, very pretty. And I have put down a matte top coat so the tips look like this and I will swatch with Calypso Gold from Hit the Bottle and with Frosted Lips from Moyu London. For the other plate, for the mix and match, I will use backgrounds with two polishes from Models Own, Pastel Yellow and a Pastel Green, Apple Pie Banana Split. This is how they look like. And I will stamp with Shadows of Darkness, which is a dark, almost black polish. And I will stamp with my Neons from Hit the Bottle. This is the Seize the Day, I Pink Therefore I Am, High Voltage Violet and Shazam Yellow. These polishes I have swatched recently in another video. If you haven't seen that, I will put a link in the end go and check that out. And we already start with the swatches now as always. I will speed up the video so sit back relax and enjoy and I'll see you afterwards with the finished swatches.
and I am back. I have done all the swatches with the mix and match plate here. You have very fine lines. So the polishes might dry on you before you get them on your nail. This is what happened here. And I used some Olibonda, which is a sticky rubberized base coat, but it helps you stick the stamping polishes better. And then you could see I did not have any problems anymore after I applied that. If you don't have Oli Bonda, just take a coat of regular top coat and let it dry down so that it is still a little sticky. You know, when you see the fingerprint when you go on it, that's when you stamp and then the polishes will stick even if they are very fine lined like this. The mix and match plate, I like it. It's perfect for summer, it's perfect for vacation designs. I have here the black background and here the neon backgrounds. Which one do you like better? I think I like the black background better with the neon stamping here. And then also the mandala plate. I told you I would stick with the matte top coat for these. I think they turned out very classy, very chic, very elegant. I love the purple and the pink stamping here, but I also like the red and the gold. Again, let me know which one you like better. All the designs are super pretty. Look, this little half moon here. And this one is also one I really, really like. And you can combine them with different other mandala plates and have these just as an accent. This would also be really pretty. Plates are good quality as always. I never had any problems with them. That was it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. There will be a bubble with my picture popping up here. Just click on that. It doesn't cost you anything and you will not miss any of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all a wonderful time wherever you are. Ta-ta, till next time.